Happy turkey saving seasons. Gobble, gobble, <laughs> ching, ching. <laughs> Black Friday time. I have never made a Black Friday video before. It's something that every year I'm like, I should do that because I love Black Friday. It's something that I didn't have in Australia for the first quarter of a century of my life. And now that I'm here, completely engrossed in the culture, I love eating my turkey stuffing, sweet potato casserole, buying some really cheap Vidya games. This year looks like one of the best years I have seen in my, like, five-year experience with Black Friday, uh, mostly because Nintendo actually came out this year with some good deals. Usually, if you know, if you're a Nintendo fan, Nintendo does not care about dropping prices on their stuff, but this year, they've done it, and it should be really cool. This video is not sponsored by anyone, but since I am saving you guys a lot of money, where else better to put that money than helping support the channel? If you want to get delicious sugar-free energy like this wonderfully new peach cobbler flavor, you can go to gfuel.com. Or if you want to get a Zeldi shirt like I'm wearing right now, you can go to zavi.com. Or if you'd rather a personalized beat-em-up sweatshirt or shirt, you can go to pixelempire.com. And finally, if your Switch is naked and you want a grip for it, you can go to satisfy.com and get the best grip around. All four of those are constantly running throughout my channel and I don't get to talk about all of them at once, so there you go. <laughs> also, this peach cobbler flavor is amazing. I put it with milk now and it's dangerously delicious. <laughs> okay, so as I said, each place has really cool stuff, but I think by far the best things you will find for Switch, assuming you don't have them already, is Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild for 30 bucks. That is the cheapest I've seen these games. These are games that never, ever, ever drop in price. And unless it's Black Friday or some store is going out of business, you ain't gonna see these prices again. It's never gonna be cheaper than this. At Target, they are door busters, which I think means it's very limited. First come, first serve. But I believe over at Walmart, they're ju that's just the price of the game. So Zelda and Mario Odyssey. Also, you have Splatoon in here. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces, and then Mario Party, I mean, I mean, Mario Party, that's a good price for Mario Party, but it's an absolute steal for games like Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and even Splatoon 2, and I guess Mario Tennis if you don't have it yet, but those are really great prices. Again, Walmart, that's, that's just their price. Uh, Target, you're gonna have to get in pretty quick, but at least it's a couple options there. Best Buy, I don't want to jump around too much and confuse you guys, but Best Buy has some really good cheap Switch games. I, I'm gonna do Target first. I just want to mention GameStop is gonna be the best place to buy a Switch if you don't have one yet. And if you watch my channel and you don't have a Switch yet, there's something wrong with you. Why are you watching me? <laughs> I, I just like with the Nintendo's games, the, the consoles never come down in price. Nintendo's offering uh, the Switch console with a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, download code for $2.99, which essentially is just getting the game for free or the digital code for free at least anyway, and just paying for a Switch. One thing to look out for here is no matter where you go for this deal, it is the old revision, it's the old version, not the revised version that has the better battery life. They're essentially exactly the same, so don't worry about it. Just one has double the battery life, and that's not the one, it's the regular one, but you do get the free game. Personally, I would lean more towards getting the revision this holiday season, but the one good thing about getting this deal, particularly on Black Friday at GameStop, is a $25 gift coupon back. That is the best. It essentially brings that price down 25 bucks and you can spend that money on something else at GameStop. Uh, nowhere else is doing a, a cashback like that. It's just, the, that's the price. So, Target, let's see what else Target has. Over here in the $15 section, this is some really good prices. Kill, I think this is the cheapest you'll find these games. Killer Queen Black, Mario and Rabbids, Crash Team Racing, uh, the Crash Trilogy uh, games, and then even Overcooked 2. You can't go wrong, 15 bucks for all of those. I mean, that's like digital little eShop hidden gem prices on these full amazing games. So highly recommend those. If we're looking in other areas, I would ignore Zombieland. That game wasn't very fun. But World War Z was a really fun game, especially playing with friends. Resident Evil 2 for $15 is a steal. That game is up for game of the year this year. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 has finally come down in price as well. You can grab that for 30 on Black Friday. So if you haven't played that yet, I recommend 
recommend it. Gears 5 was so good if you missed out on that one. Uh, Borderlands 3 is 35 here at Target, but I believe it's $28 at Best Buy. That game just came out. That's another good deal. And then on Switch in the $25 bracket, we have Monkey Ball. I have that. I haven't played it yet, but that did just come out and that's like 15 bucks off. The Spyro Trilogy, Overwatch just came out. That's still $50, so that's half price here at Target. So that's another good deal. Oh, it everywhere has this PlayStation for $199 that has Last of Us, God of War, and Horizon. It's the PlayStation Slim 1 terabyte model. It's a great model. It's not the Pro, but for 200 bucks with those three games, I, I have don't think I've ever seen a better bundle. Whew, one down, three to go. <laughs> Delicious. That is too good. It is too friggin' good, guys. 30% off down below. Um, so we're seeing a lot of the same on this stuff. Oh, the Xbox One, sad. The digital only version, which I believe is actually called sad. Uh, it, it doesn't play any discs, but it's down to 150, all digital edition. That's pretty insane. Like I know you can't play discs, but just to get that with uh, Game Pass on it. All right, so Walmart, as I said, we have uh, Zelda. We also have Nino Kuni in here. I saw that for 25, I believe at GameStop. So hold up on that. Hold up before you write that down. I believe that's cheaper somewhere else. Other than that, these are all very similar prices I'm seeing over here in the 25. Now we got some good ones over here in the 25, like Final Fantasy, Diablo. That's the cheapest I've seen that. Although last year, it was $18 at Black Friday on Switch, but that was a mistake. Overwatch 25 again. Sekiro is an amazing game. That's a steal at 25, in my opinion. $20 category, Devil May Cry 5. Oh, Friday the 13th is actually a lot of fun. For 20 bucks, again, we're in eShop territory now. That's a decent price. Days Gone as well. I really, I really like Days Gone. I mean, that's like a 30, 40 hour game for 20 bucks. And I, I, I honestly had fun with it. Mario and Rabbids is 20 here. Was that 25 in the other, in Target? I can't remember. Let me double check my facts. Oh, it's 15 over here. Okay, well, if you're buying Mario and Rabbids, uh, you're gonna wanna pick it up at uh, Target. <laughs> oh, wow, Crash Bandicoot too. Yeah, okay, so Target's a little cheaper on some of these Switch games. Trials Rising for 15 is a good price. That's actually, I feel like Trials Rising's gonna be a little hidden gem on the Switch. It plays really well and it's a fun little game. And then there's that Switch again for $2.99, but without the $25 gift back. All right, well, that's Walmart. <laughs> GameStop is the exciting one for me. Sometimes they have like random deals like this Anthem. I mean, I'm not, no one's buying Anthem, but th th there's always those random ones like, oh, by the way, an Anthem's gonna be five bucks. I feel so bad for Anthem. I mean, I do and I don't. I'm probably gonna grab Medi Medieval from here for 20 bucks. I haven't got that one yet. For me, I have pretty much all of these. Uh, so it's exciting to see the deals, but not exciting when I realize I already have them all. Zeldies is 40 here. You're definitely gonna wanna get that from Target or Walmart, as I said. All right, this is crazy. So we have the PlayStation Hits collection. If you don't mind getting the, the crappy labels, the crappy covers that I hate, $10 for any of these games is incredible. Uh, nothing's really grabbing me on Xbox. It's a bunch of third party titles and nothing's really that cheap. I mean, Metro for 20 is not bad. Um, Forza 4 is a good game. <laughs> Got some Pokemon stuff. Of course, the new games aren't going to be any cheaper because it's Nintendo and I'm surprised that even any of their games are cheaper, but those just came out. All right, now we're in my bread and butter. So uh, Killer Queen is 20, so it was 15 at the other place. Ghostbusters is 20, great deal. I think that's a really good price for that game. And apparently there's a GameStop exclusive physical release, which I didn't know. End of the Gungeon is great. Uh, I think we found Final Fantasy cheaper somewhere previously. Nino Kuni, I can tell you, is cheaper at Best Buy. None of these prices are jumping out of me. Collection of Mana, that's the first time I've seen it anywhere on sale for Black Friday, but it's only five bucks cheaper, so... I mean... The Witch is ten bucks cheaper here. I haven't seen that on sale anywhere else. Other than that, for Switch games, you're gonna be better off or pretty much the same going anywhere else. Uh, good prices, just, you know, not not the best this year. Pick up your game, GameStop. And last, lastly, we got Best Buy. As I said, they have some really good deals. The main title games that were 30 bucks in other places, they're 40 here, so I wouldn't be getting those here either. I swear there was a, there was a, there was, an, unless I've been, unless I completely misremembered, 
I swear that Best Buy had some good prices. Octopath for 40, uh, that's not bad, not bad. I'm surprised that's not a little cheaper. Here we go, Nino Kuni 25. That's, I think that's the cheapest you're gonna get Nino Kuni. Starlink for 10. I know Starlink has been really cheap, like 10, 15 dollars pretty much since it came out. But if you can grab that for 10 and you haven't played it yet, or you just got a Switch, especially if it's for a younger uh, audience in your household, Starlink's really great. You get a little toy with it too, some characters. Again, Medieval for 20, maybe I'll grab it here instead. Days Gone for 20, you have these PlayStation hits for 10. I can see those being in those like bins in the middle of the store with people going crazy over them. So you gotta have to get to them pretty quick, but that's a good price for Mario and Rabbids again. So Best Buy has some really good prices as well. Borderlands 3, that's the cheapest I saw that. In fact, all of these, they've managed to just go like $3 cheaper than everywhere else, just so it, it looks a little better. Fallout 76, if you don't mind playing a boring game. <laughs> More deals, man, they just keep going. Oh, Gears 5 for 25. Wow, all right, well then if you're getting Gears 5, pick it up at freaking Best Buy, man. Oh, and Red Dead Redemption, I'm, Best Buy is the place. Well, that's the four places that I hit up every Black Friday. I don't know, I don't think I'm forgetting anywhere. I'm sure some places also have games and do deals maybe near you. If you see or heard of any good deals, share them down below for other people to see, especially if I forgot them. Um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm making this video. I just like Black Friday, so if it helped you in some way, uh, smash like. It's really weird because it's one of those videos that no one's gonna watch in like four days, so it's kind of a throwaway. <laughs> What a weird video. Why did I why why did I make this? <laughs>